data types in Python. As the name suggests, let's go ahead and comment all this out. As the name suggests, a data type basically describes the type of data you can use in Python. We've already talked about a few of them. Um, one of them is the string, which I already said is basically writing words. Or if I have not said it before, then it's words. So this is a string. Um, this is a string. And this is a string. Whatever. Okay. So for Python, you can identify a string by the quotes around it. A string either has a single quote or a double quote. So the first data type that we'll be talking about is a string. And a string basically is made by adding something in a quote. So let's see some examples. Uh, variable string one. This is a string. It's a valid string. String two. This is also a string and it's a valid string. String three. This is a valid string. String four. This is also a string. And then finally, string five. This is also a string. So basically, whatever it is, even if it's a number, as long as it has either a single quote or a double quote, then it is a string. Now, let's see what we can do with two strings. In Python, it is possible to combine two strings together and print them out as one. Firstly, let's try to print out our string one, just to be sure that everything is still fine. Now, let's run this code. I expect we see a string printed out. As a matter of fact, let's change this to Mike. Um, so it's easy to identify that. Let's run it again. And then you see Mike here. Okay, so let's try to print both uh, Mike and uh, string four. That's string one and string four. So let's see what we can do here. String four. I'll run this code and see what happens. And I get Mike true. And that's because there is no space in between. So let's add some space in between. I can do this to add space in between. I'll run this code again. And as you can see, it's say Mike true. Then let's just, you know, make it a little nicer. Mike is always saying the, I'll change this to truth. And then run the code again, just to show you that. So basically this that I have done is to combine or add two strings together, two or more strings together. And this is called concatenation in most programming languages. So I've con I'm concatenating two or more strings together. Basically, this is the introduction into string. There are several string operations that we can do and that we will still be doing. But just know that anything that has quotes, a single quote or a double quote around it is a string. Now, there is something you should note, and I'll be explaining it in the next data type, which is the numbers. Uh, let's, I, let's comment all this out for now. I will stick beyond commenting them. So let's talk about numbers. Data type, numbers. A number, basically, like I've uh, already, uh, you probably already know, um, is just a number. It's 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 just a number. <laughs> so let's let's see some examples. So four point five is a number, a very valid number. Number two, zero is a number and it's valid. Number three. Um, five is a number and it's valid. Number four, negative four is a number and it's valid. And then finally, number five, let's use a very high number. This is also a number and it is valid. Now, either the number is decimal, a zero, a negative, or a positive number, or a very large number, it is a number. The number is basically what you see without a quote around it. I mean, this is like the most basic way of defining it. Let me just leave it that way. Just see some examples of what we can do with numbers or how numbers work. Now, for strings, I told you to add two strings together. It is called concatenation. But for numbers, that's called addition, obviously. So let's try to do that. Uh, we've already done this, but we're doing it again. Number one plus number two. And we get our result. 
our results let's let's run that uh okay i need to save before i run so let's just save it and run the code and uh, i expect to see did i save that all right let me run the code again and I see 4.5 that's because I'm adding or oh, number 2 is 0 let's add something that is more than that uh, let's add 3 so save it run the code again and again 9.5 which is accurate now there's something I wanted to mention earlier let's uncomment all of this you cannot add a string and a number together so let's try to do that and see if we get an error so I'll, I'll comment this out and just try to do number one plus string one. I'll save that and run the code. And I get an error. And take note of what the error says. It says unsupported operand types, which means I am not allowed to add two, these two strings together. This, this is what you are basically trying to do. You are trying to do addition and concatenation. because for strings, adding a plus there is it's concatenating, and for numbers, adding a plus there is trying to add things together. So that's not going to work. This is a simple thing, but however, I feel like it's necessary to mention it for those who are just starting out. And you see what it says there? It says a float and a string. You cannot add them together. So I believe this is uh, easy enough to understand.